everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, hi, hello, I hope you'll stick around. Subscribe to this channel for more va videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and turn on the bell symbol so you get notified every single time I upload. If you're not already following me on social media, you might want to, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. That is where I do all of my extra vape stuff giveaways. I do not do them here on YouTube. It is not allowed. I also chat with you guys daily on Twitter and on Instagram story. I post every day, all day long. So if you wanna get a sneak peek into my life, that's where you can check it all out. But let's get right into the video. I've got something here from iJoy. I saw this on directvapor.com. It looked really cool in blue, but I, I don't think I have the blue. I have the white, but it looked super, super cool. It does come in black, blue, red, and white. This is the Mystique. So it takes two 18650 batteries, but let's just open it up. I don't think this has a tank. This, this is not the kit version. This is just the mod. Ooh, it has been a hot minute since I had a white mod. Okay, it. you know when you like see something online, it looks so pretty, and then you get it in real life, and it's like, mm, looks a little bit better online. This is one of them. So I'll move the mod, and I'll show you guys what comes with it. What a convenient little pinch. And it's so simple because it doesn't have a tank. We have a USB to micro USB cable, the user's manual, the warranty card, this like fun little card with a bunch of little silvery mods on the bottom and the user's manual. All right, so here's the mod. It's actually just like plastic, but it still looks pretty cool. I think the blue or red would look even better, but it's pretty cool. It's just, but it's like plastic. So it kind of, you know, feels a little cheapy cheap. Um, we've got the 510 connection centered at the top. It is spring loaded, I just checked. You have the fire button, the screen, and the regulatory buttons here. Take off this panel to reveal the battery compartment. It does tell you which way to put the batteries. Let me put my batteries in here. All right, got my batteries in and it did automatically turn on to show the screen. We have an ohms reader, which is reading nothing because there's no ohms on there. A puffs counter, a voltage meter, the output level the output mode we have norm which i'm guessing has normal soft and hard for vaping preference and the battery life of both batteries when you try to fire it it says no atomizer press the fire button three times to enter the menu mode well i guess it didn't reset because i already went through the menu mode but here we go we got p mode mtl mode pod power temp and puff and then exit so it does have all of these modes. P mode changes the normal soft or hard. MTL mode is self-explanatory. It's for mouth to lung mode. Pod mode is for like a really low voltage setting. And power and temp mode are self-explanatory. Wattage or temp and temperature has nickel, titanium, or stainless steel with TCR mode as well. And real quick before I forget, the mod is 84 millimeters tall by 45 millimeters wide by 34.5 millimeters in depth. It does go up to 162 watts. It has no overhang with 26 millimeter diameter tanks or less. And you should go no lower than 0.05 ohm and no higher than three ohm when putting on an atomizer. And you can upgrade the firmware with this. But enough talking, let's get to the vaping. I'm just gonna put this profile Unity RDA on, RTA, excuse me, because I've been in love with it <laughs> since I discovered it and actually had the courage to try it because it has a mesh coil sheet. Um, and we're gonna try it on here with this guy. And I'm gonna lower the wattage just to 60, just for now. Clouds, bitch. Oh my God, I love this RTA. I know the video is not about the RTA, the video is about the mod, but like, it's a mod, it works. Oh my God, you guys, I could sit here and chain vape and chain vape and chain vape. It's pairing well. And you know what? There isn't overhang from the base, but because this kind of has some knurling that comes out, there's overhang, but like what ifs? What a great combo. Oh my God, so vapey in here. All right, guys. You've seen it work. I don't know if there's a tank that like specifically goes with this mod in kit form. There probably is, that normally happens. But if not, pair it with this Profile Unity RTA. Works freaking great. Looks really cool. Looks better in lighting. Like if you don't have shiny light, the, the pattern doesn't like show up. Like 
brightly you know what I'm saying like if you don't if it's not in bright light it kind of just all seems a little matte even though it's not matte that that pattern's not matte it just if you don't have light on it it really does look matte it's pretty big I mean as far as mods go for me for like what I consider big but then again as big goes because I prefer mods like that size. That's it for the video. Again, you can check directvapor.com. That's where I got this. That's D-I-R-E-C-T-V-A-P-O-R.com. Let me know in the comments below if you have this, if you love it, or if you hate it, if you've tried it, if you want it. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys, but that's it. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.